Well, this video gives you an idea of just how powerful that storm was when it hit Houston. A postal carrier shot this video as a tornado ripped through Deer Park Tuesday afternoon. He was delivering mail in the suburban neighborhood of Running Brook when the twister came in. He managed to ride it out that storm in his mail truck and come out of it OK. Tonight, there is a path of destruction that will take weeks to clean up. The National Weather Service in Houston confirmed there was at least EF2 damage so far in southeast Houston. A resident's ring doorbell camera in Deer Park captured the powerful wind as it sent tree limbs flying. Cheetah Craft gives us an aerial view of the tornado damage left behind. In Deer Park, we saw roofs ripped off structures and scattered across fields. We got a good look inside a church on Center Street where walls were toppled and the roof peeled back. Right next door, a nursing home had a large section destroyed. An apartment building lost its entire roof and much of the second level. None of the units are inhabitable anymore. A strip center also took a hit. The top of this Little Caesars is half gone, debris covering the parking lot. Many homes were torn apart as well, from chunks of the roof missing to downed fences and debris and pools and even a shed destroyed. In the distance, several refineries flaring after losing power, stabilizing their facilities after the storm passed. We're here. You know, and, and for the first time in Houston, the National Weather Service declared a tornado emergency. What is that exactly, Pete? They don't happen very often. And, and uh, information that is just coming in is it's now uh, in the Pasadena Deer Park area. It's an EF3, oh, winds wow. of 140 miles an hour. I mean, this is a significant tornado yeah. down there. I want you to take a look at this. This explains exactly what uh, what a tornado emergency is. And you can see, look at the damage that, the, that they have seen down there. Once again, EF3 damage, winds of 140 miles an hour and this certainly looks like that and uh, tornadoes certainly can happen any time of the year across the United States and certainly across the south which were of course in the southern part of the United States but a tornado emergency it's issued by the National Weather Service when a tornado is imminent or occurring and poses a significant threat to life and property. They started issuing these back uh, in one of the more Oklahoma tornadoes back right after uh, May, that May 3rd, 1999 outbreak that happened up in Oklahoma. They've only issued uh, two tornado emergencies since then in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Do you remember these? Of course, the downtown Fort Worth tornado, March 28, 2000, and then the Dallas Arlington tornadoes uh, back in April 3rd of 2012. So they're not very common, but again, when they're occurring, the threat is imminent or it's happening right then and it poses a significant threat to life and property. That's when a tornado emergency will be issued. They don't happen very often, but please take note when they do.